84 Lumber is an American born and bred company strongly behind the We Build American initiative to encourage home builders and homeowners to buy American made building materials and products. The premise is simple. If every American builder used just 5 to 10 percent more American products in the homes that they build, it would protect and create American jobs. Our experience has shown that a home can be built with at least 95 percent American made products and have little or no impact on construction costs. The owners of the home that I built uh, with using the American products uh, were my inspiration in building the home. They came to me after seeing a Diane Sawyer special of another builder who had built a home using uh, American products and that was his goal was to use as many American products as he could. We sat down with Marnie and said are you up for the challenge of putting as much American content as we can in this, in this home? But of course the ground rules are it cannot cost me any more and um, that even if you're just breaking even I want to know I'm getting higher quality product. So she said, sure, let's try it. And she uh, did all the research. She found the products. She made sure that they were technically suitable. Uh, she made sure that they would be available on schedule. She negotiated the bundle pricing. What we learned with the American content in getting the price to be equivalent to outsourced materials is buying the material from one supplier as a bundle. So we buy you know, all of our framing lumber, including, you know, sheathing, roofing material, and then even shingles, you know, tar paper, nails, uh, roof nails as one package, and that offsets the cost because, you know, our nails are a little bit more money, but the subcontractor who was installing the framing material was saving tons of time because there were better nails, the nail guns weren't jamming as much, and the you know, construction was faster. So I was able to offset a lot of those costs up front with the labor costs. So it's really the total cost of ownership that makes the difference. It's the cost of purchasing it, it's the cost of the labor putting it in, and then it's my cost uh, of maintaining it in the future. I am a fourth generation builder, so I grew up in the field. My grandfather was a builder, my great-grandfather was a builder, my father's a builder. So I worked in construction my whole life in the field with the subcontractors. And, and I think a lot of the, the more, I guess, nostalgic part is the American values. And as an entrepreneur, you can make those decisions of where you are going to buy material and how does it impact those who you're buying it from. So if the price is the same and I can buy from you know, somebody in this country, why not do that? Because you know, it, betters, it betters our country. I decided to build American because I wanted to help our economy as best as I could, uh, but without uh, incurring any extra costs or any problems uh, for myself for the future. And um, thanks to the research that, that Marnie did and thanks to the way she led that team of subcontractors, uh, I ended up with a much better result than I had ever hoped for. I ended up with a better price, I ended up with higher quality, I ended up with more options, and she exceeded all my expectations as we worked together on selecting American products. Speaking with other people to buy American, I think one of the first things that we think about is you're getting quality is what you're getting. I mean, we have lots of standards in our industry as far as the, the uh, grades of our lumber and everything else, and they're always, they can know that if they're buying lumber from the Southern Lumber Company, they're getting quality lumber according to quality standards here in America. I think number two, the ease of claims adjustment in the event there's a claim. You're buying Canadian lumber or lumber from overseas, you've got uh, lots of difficulty in, in getting that claim resolved where you don't have the same problems here in America. I think number three is that we, we manage our forests so well. I know in Mississippi alone, we're undercutting our forest year after year. We've got, they tell us we've got five billion board feet in excess growth annually. So we're managing our forest and for all those people that are buying American lumber, we want to tell them, look, 
Our forests are managed well. We're in good shape with them. And the more we cut, we've got a lot, we got a lot more room to cut. And the more we do, we're not endangering our forest at all, like in some of these other countries. So I think the, the quality issue, the claims issue, and of course the forestry issue are real important uh, themes to think about when you're trying, when you're encouraging somebody to buy America. There's been a, a reach from our side of the table to source from American-made companies when we can. That culture, we hope, also extends through our employee base into their daily lives as they go out to shop outwardly uh, for their consumer products. The, the thought that, that something could be changed to improve our position as a American-based uh, producer of product, again because so much of our product is, is not really competed against uh, from offshore product lines. The, the thought is that, that we would like to see the culture inside our walls extend outward. And from the builder's standpoint, I would like to see that, that there's more meaning in the home uh, shopper, the person that's out looking to buy that new home. Uh, that, that it means something to them when the builder can say to them all of the products that went into this house were sourced from American manufacturers. That's got to carry a loud message, I would think. Well, if there is an increased cost, which our products made in the United States are very competitive. Uh, we use American timber. We use American products to build our products. Um, then the plywood, the resins, the patches, uh, on down to the banding and strapping and, and labels. They're all made in the United States. It's, we buy American ourselves. Uh, we think it's very important to support American-made products, uh, and we try to keep that in our whole production system. When we go to our treating plants and look at our treating, we're buying, again, buying American-made strapping. Um, we buy American-made timber that goes into the products that are treated and our chemical that goes into the wood to preserve it is made in the United States. Compost filter sock was invented in the United States and our materials that we work uh, with 84 through their distribution network is 100% made in the United States from uh, the factories that we do final assembly to the malt sourcing and creation to the manufacturing of the netting. So compost filter sock, 100% made in America. And I applaud 84 for their initiative in this Made in America uh, program. I think it's excellent. We're ready to embrace it and help them any way we can. And our product is uh, right in line with that. It was important to us when we started MazCon to be made in America.